Before we dive into today's chilling story, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more unnerving true crime tales. True crime, a genre that grips us with its raw, unfiltered look into humanity's darkest corners. It's an exploration of the unthinkable, the unimaginable, and sometimes the eerily ordinary. Among these chilling narratives, one name stands out, Stacy Castor, an everyday woman with a life that was anything but ordinary. Today we delve into the dark tale of Stacy Castor, a woman who seemed ordinary but harbored deadly secrets. In the quiet town of Clay, New York, Stacy Castor appeared to be just another hardworking mother, but beneath the facade of an ordinary life, a sinister plot was unfolding. In 2000, her first husband, Michael Wallace, suddenly passed away. His death was initially ruled as a heart attack, a tragic but not uncommon occurrence. The autopsy report didn't raise any red flags, but it was the death of her second husband, David Castor, in 2005 that aroused suspicion. David was found dead in his home under circumstances that were anything but ordinary. This time, the autopsy report revealed a lethal dose of antifreeze in his system. The authorities couldn't ignore the uncanny coincidence. Two husbands, both dead, and Stacy Castor at the center of it all. Castor's behavior following David's death was odd, to say the least. She seemed more concerned with securing her husband's estate than mourning his loss. She was seen partying and living a life of luxury, all while her second husband lay cold in the ground. Soon enough, the authorities began digging into her past, and what they found was disturbing. The mysterious death of her first husband, the unsettling circumstances surrounding her second husband's death, and her unusual behavior post their demise, all painted a chilling picture. The sweet, hard-working mother from Clay, New York was not who she appeared to be, but as the authorities dug deeper they discovered a chilling pattern that pointed to a deadly predator. As the authorities began to connect the dots, a sinister picture of Stacy Castor started to emerge. The investigation, initially sparked by the unusual circumstances of her husband's death, took a dark turn when traces of antifreeze were found in his system. This chilling discovery led to questions about the authenticity of a suspicious will, hastily penned and favoring Stacy in a way that raised more than a few eyebrows. But the most damning piece of evidence was still to come. A typed suicide note allegedly from Stacy's late husband contained phrases and idioms eerily similar to Stacy's own speech. This uncanny resemblance, coupled with the fact that it was typed, not handwritten, cast a long, dark shadow of doubt. The seeds of suspicion had been sown, and the once grieving widow now found herself under the harsh glare of scrutiny. Stacy Castor's web of deceit was beginning to unravel. In the face of mounting evidence, Stacy Castor had to face the consequences of her actions. The trial was a harrowing spectacle. The prosecution presented an array of damning evidence, including the tainted glass, the suspicious will, and the deadly cocktail of drugs. Yet, the most shocking piece of the puzzle was the testimony from Castor's own daughter. Her heart-wrenching account of manipulation and betrayal left the courtroom in stunned silence. The defense tried to deflect, suggesting that the victims had taken their own lives, but the jury wasn't swayed. After four days of deliberation, the verdict was in, guilty. Stacy Castor was convicted of the murder of her husband, the attempted murder of her daughter, and for forging a will. The sentence was just as severe, life imprisonment without the possibility of parole. Justice had finally been served, but the memory of Stacy Castor's chilling crimes remains. Stacy Castor's story serves as a grim reminder of the darkness that can lurk behind the most ordinary of faces. Her tale, etched in true crime history, underscores the importance of vigilance and trust in our justice system. Thank you for joining us on this chilling journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications on our next true crime story.